Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create a link in your navigation bar on your WordPress site that's temporary, like it's for an event and you just want to pop it up or you've got a webinar and you just want to sort of pop a link up in your menu that you will later on take down. And it's not very hard. You don't really need your developer to do this. And, you know, if you're um, someone who has different promotions at different times, you're going to need to, you know, put that event link up into your navigation. I mean, you don't need to, but you might want to. And then you'll probably want to take it back out. And you can just save loads of money knowing these little easy tips um, and tricks with your WordPress site. So let's go and have a look now. You have to be logged in. And often when you log in, you'll be brought straight to the dashboard. I like to do this task from the actual site. So if you click on that little house, it should take you to your site. You should see a black bar up the top that lets you know you are logged in um, and it'll say hi to yourself, whoever you've made yourself as a user. Now, if you hover over the name of your site, you should see something called customizer. Um, it might just say customize as one of the options here, but we're just looking for the word customize. So hover and then click on customizer and it, it should load up this sidebar whereby you can still see your site. Uh, there we go. Um, you can still see your site, but you can see this strip over the site. I, think I call this theme customizer or something like that in my own little jargon that I've made up about life. So <laughs> there's an option here for menus. So you can obviously also do this from the dashboard. I just like to do it a lot of things as I'm looking at the site. It just helps my brain. It depends on your brain, I suppose. I like to see the changes as I make them. So I click menus and then you choose like, you may have made menus. It just depends how this is all set up for you. I have one called main nav. It's got everything there. And then I click add items and then the pages may not be showing or it might. And so these, you have these sort of options. And if you have WooCommerce, you'll have a whole stash of WooCommerce options. And depending on what plugins, you might have different things here, but you should have custom links. Now it's this easy. You're going to be like, it's that easy. Yes. So you will go and get your link. So let's say that, you know, you've got a webinar coming up and you want to share a link to that sales page. So this would be a sales page over here. Oh, that's not working. That's just fantastic. Let's just get in there. I'm sure it's safe. Um, okay, so I don't know what happened there. That's a fail. But let's just say we're going to put this link in, right? We just paste in our link and then we give it a name. So it might be um, that you're having a single day yoga retreat or you're having a live workshop or you're having a free webinar. You've got to give it a name. Um, I'm going to do this free webinar one and then you just click add to menu and it will pop up here and then you just have to decide where you're going to put it. Like for me, I often put my temporary menu items up at the very top. Um, oh, it didn't work. Come on, little friend. Where'd it go? Oh, it's gone and ducked in over there, cheeky bonko. Um, so I like to have it so that, close that down, so that it's the first thing, even before the work with me or any of my normal things. Um, and then once we publish that and have a look, click publish, and then you can close this. And then you'll be able to see it on your site. See, now I have enough room, but sometimes if you add a new menu item it's actually going to clog up your menu bar and it's going to spill over and you just might not like the way it looks so i'll show you how to just adjust your font size as well like if that were too big you can go into header and navigation and go into your primary menu bar and you can change the text size so you might just drag it a bit smaller down to 14 just while you've got this extra link in and then just click publish and then have a look and you'll see, oh yeah, that fits nicely. Now, obviously mine hasn't spilled over, so it's not a big deal, but even still, I think I kind of prefer it a little bit smaller just for now, um, so that it's just easier to see. And then when you've finished, and you want to remove your event link, you again, you just hover here, um, or you just click on customizer, depending on where's yours, where yours is showing up. 
And then you just basically do what we did before, but in reverse. So you click menus, go into the menu, and then on this free webinar custom link, we just go in and click remove, and that takes it out. And then also we go back, 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 and we go back into header and navigation, and we make our font size back up to what it was, and click publish. Now, you know, Hopefully that is straightforward for you and you can do that. I think it's pretty straightforward, but I guess I do it all day. And I'm hoping that if it feels like, ooh, just rewind this and pause me as you go. Basically, you go into Customizer, you go into Menus, you add your custom link, you click Publish and then get out of there and have a look. And if you need to, you adjust your font size. So as I said, just make sure you slow me down or watch me again. It's not really for fun, these videos, is it? It's <laughs> very practical. I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. How did you go? I hope that was helpful. Um, this is not really like Netflix. It's probably better if you pause me and work along because sometimes I just go really fast and it's not really all that entertaining. I mean, ultimately, I'm doing this to help you to learn how to use your site a bit better and, um, you know, maybe do simple things on your WordPress site yourself without freaking out and breaking the site, spending lots of money having to call a developer. But um, if you are just busy and you don't really want to deal with your site, this is definitely something that my team and I can help you with. So you can book a free chat just to see how we can help or if you like the look of um, my site or any of the sites I've built and you're thinking about a website, just click on the button to make a website inquiry and I'd love to have a chat with you. And I think that's all. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you really soon.